Well, I'm back. It's been about, oh, I guess a little bit over a week. I was working, um, I was working kind of constantly for the past week or so, and that's why I've been a little bit absent. But, um, here I am, I'm back, and this is actually supposed to be a response video to Little Raj. He asked for us to do, um, to talk to our past and, um, talk to ourselves ten years ago. So, um, well, I guess in the beginning I was going to say that I would leave my age up to a guess, to you. But you know what? It's not really that big a deal. So I'm going to talk to my past. My ten years ago self. That would be, um, 18. Okay, so now you know how old I am. Um, not that it matters. Anyway. Ten things I would tell my 18-year-old self. Number one, your dreams of the future are not stupid. Don't limit yourself by saying, I can't do that, it's already been done, or there's too much competition. Not even, my parents won't approve. Which leads me to number two, don't let mom's worries become your own. Tom is right when he is telling you this. Remember to be your own person and not always play by parental rules but you should definitely heed advice when sensible. Number three, don't waste your freshman year of college pining after your current crush. He won't remember your major half the time and he'll still be in high school until your junior year of college. Number four, you're going to make more good friends than you could ever imagine. So, smile. It's number five. Senior year of college, you go to Japan. I know. Exciting, right? Okay. Don't spend so much money on manga and doujinshi, I'm telling you, because you won't be as into anime later on, believe it or not. But hey, if it makes you happy to buy all that, no harm done. Just remember that it's going to cost more to ship all that stuff back to the U.S. than it is for you to buy all that in the first place. Okay? So, just think of that. Number six. Treasure your time with your family. You will miss them a lot when you move to California. Seven. After graduating Winchester, which you will soon, make sure to spend some time hanging out with Joe Cheatham. Try to remember how he supported you when you tried to keep your, you know, your little your geeky X-Files club going after middle school. Um, you know, it was really popular in middle school, and I'm probably telling you what you already know, but then the boys tried to um, take over your club's popularity with their stupid Simpsons club. Not that I don't love the Simpsons, but Joe was the only one who tried to help you keep it going, so remember that. He's a really good friend. I'm not sure I should mess up the space-time continuum telling you why I want you to spend more time hanging out with him, but, um, heck, I've probably done that now. Joe, um, Joe won't be around for too many more years. Basically, he doesn't make it past 23 years old. So, um, I want to make sure you, I, don't regret not having spent more time with such a good friend. Eight! Drive carefully. I can't say it enough. And avoid assholes on the road. Use good judgment when you're driving, too. Believe me. Something's gonna happen with your jaw, which I'll explain later. You're predisposed to it already. But, um, just please, drive carefully and use good judgment. Number nine. Don't stop doing theater after you're in the Hudsucker Proxy freshman year of college. You're going to enjoy it a lot, even when you get sick and you have a cold towards the last week of its run. You're still going to love the hell out of it and it's going to be a hell of an experience. So keep auditioning and taking acting classes because I know it's a great kind of freedom of expression that you have there. You get to slip into somebody else's skin. You probably know this already. Okay, bottom line, don't stop doing theater. Number 10. You have... You have five more years with Grandma Dorothy, and she gets dementia not long before she goes. 
I spend time with her, but I want you, me, to spend more time with her, reading to her, playing games, laughing, just keep it going. So, that's it. Um, yeah, I know that a couple of them were a bit of downers and talking about death, but honestly, if I were talking to my, actually talking to myself ten years in the past, those are some pretty important things I would like to tell myself. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and, um, oh, by the way, I have, uh, 23 subscribers as per this recording, and that's kind of exciting. Cool. Hopefully it'll go up from there, and, uh, I'll have more interesting content and maybe video responses to other people in the future, and, um, take care of yourself. I always feel like somebody's watching me And I got no privacy That probably was really out of key Yeah, yeah, yeah